Hello, grade four. Good evening. This is Teacher Lay again. So for this video, we are going to discuss about multiplication. Okay. Uh, multiplication is your lesson three for this week too. Okay. So um, multiplication during your, uh, when you were grade three, You've already discussed about multiplication. No, how to multiply um, numbers, diba? Like 2 times 3, 3 times 5, diba? And you already, um, did you already memorize the multiplication table? Okay, so you, um, grade 4, you have to memorize the multiplication table, no? So that it is easy for you to multiply the numbers, okay? Okay, let's proceed. So multiple, uh, we are going to multiply numbers up to three digit by up to two digit numbers without and with regrouping. Okay, so we have here example number one. Uh, multiply three and 26. So we have different ways to find the product of three and 26, no? Okay, um, we have here, um, satu ang nga A, okay? Um, a is 3 times 26, so we have 3 times 20 plus 3 times 6 equals 60 plus 18 equals 78. So, kitang sa tagsa na to siya, no? Then, sa B also, we have ang 26, um, kitang sa tagsa na to, it is based on uh, its um, um, place value. Since um, 20 is in a uh, hundreds place, I'm in tens place, so that's why the value is 20. So multiply by 3. Also, 6 is in ones, multiplied by 3. So 20 times 3 is 60. Then we are going to add 6 times 3 is 18. That's why it's 78. Then see, um, we have this method. This is the old way, no? the old method that we usually use. Okay, 26 times 3. Um, first, 6 times 3 is 8. Then carry 1. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. Okay. Then D, okay, we have 26 times 3. We multiply 3 by 6, so it's 18. And we multiply 3 by 2, then 60 siya. Okay. Apil wa niya diri iyang kuan. Kaning the round na to siya in its. Sa katang estimated value niya. So, 18 plus 60 is 78. Okay. But take, but, Take note that multiplying numbers, many digits, is easy to do in the usual or old way. Okay, so let's not um, give burden to ourselves. So we are going to um, use the old way or the old method in multiplying numbers. Okay, so we have here, uh, you, we are going to multiply 426 and 35. So we use the old method or the old way. 426 times 35. So we have our multiplier here and the multiplicand. So the in our multiplier, the multiplier is 35. So the ones place is 5. So we are going to multiply first our number in the ones place in the multiplier. So we have 5. Okay, we are going to multiply first. Okay, 5 times 6 is, what is 5 times 6? Diba 5 times 6 is, dara o, um, 30, diba? 5 times 6 is 30, so we bring down 0, carry 3. Then 5 times 2 is 10. We have 3 man, the carry 3 we are going to add. So 5 times 2 is 10 plus 3, that's 13. We write here 3. And one here we are going to carry. Then five times four is twenty plus the carry one. That's twenty one. Okay. Next is um we are going to move to the tens place. Our tens place is three. So we are going to multiply three. Three times six. That's eighteen. Bring down eight. Okay. In the second place or in the tens place. Um, we are going to bring down the uh, to bring down its number also in the tens place. Okay, below the tens place. Diba? This is the ones place, 
and the tens place. So we are going to bring down here in its tens place. Okay. So three times six is eighteen. Bring down eight. Carry one. And three times two is six. Plus one is seven. And three times four is. 12. Okay, we have here the list of oh, 3 times 6, 3 times 2, 3 times 4. Okay, so we have now um, 2,130 and 1,278. Then we are going to multiply this. So 0, bring down 0. 3 plus 8 is 11. Bring down 1, carry 1 here. Then 1 plus 1 is 2 plus 7. That's 9. Then 2 plus 2 is 4 and bring down 1. So 426 times 35 is 14,910. Um, okay, next. We have to multiply 976 and 6. So we have here 976 times 6. Again, we are going to multiply first our um, the number is in a tense, I um, mean once. Place. 6 times 6, that's 36. No? Um, bring down 6 and carry 3. Then 6 times 7 is 42. Then we have 3 in the carry. So 30, 42 plus 3, that's 45. So bring down 5, carry 4. 6 times 9, that's 54, right? 54 plus 8 is 58. So 976 times 6 is equals to 5,856. Okay, next example. Next example, we have multiply 94 and 38. Okay, 94 and 38. Again, we are going to multiply first the number in our ones place. So our ones is 8. No, we have 8 times 4 is 32. So bring down 2, carry 3. Then 8 times 9 is 72. Then we have carry 3 months. So 72 plus 3 is 75. That's why we write 75 here. We are not going to carry any number here because there's no any number man to carry, diba? Last man yasi 9. Because 9 times 8 is 72, then plus 3 is 75. Next, aritani 4 and 3. 3 times 4, that's 12, right? Again, since we are going to multiply our tens place so our answer we are going to write it below the tens place okay since five is in the tens place so we are going to um, write our answer here so three times four is twelve write two here and one carry then three times nine is twenty seven twenty seven then we have plus one that is twenty eight uh, then we are going to add, bring down 2, then 5 plus 2 is 7, 8 plus 7 is 15, bring down 5, carry 1 here, then 1 plus 2 is 3. Okay, next. Uh, multiply 475 and 8. Okay, 475 and 8. So we have here 475 times 8. What is 5 times 8? That's 40, no? So we bring down 0, carry 4. 7 times 8, that's 56. But we have 4, so we are going to plus 4. 56 plus 4 is 60. So bring down 0, carry 6. Then 8 times 4 is 32. Plus, um, it's not koan. Um, that is
So again, um, again we have a times four is thirty two. Then plus six, we have carry six man. So thirty two plus six is thirty eight. So we have here four hundred seventy five times eight is three thousand eight hundred. Okay. Um, next, let's continue. Okay, we have activities. Answer the following. Okay. Find the product of 3 times 5 and 6 times 7. Okay. So, find the product means we are going to multiply the answer of 3 times 5 and 6 times 2, right? So, what is 3 times 5? That's 15. And 6 times 2 equals 12. Since we are talking about um, product, so product is the answer of multiplication, right? Okay, so product means we are going to multiply 15 and 12. So 15 times 12, um, we are using the old method or the old way. 5 times 2 is 10, bring down 0, carry 1. Then 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1, that's 3. Then um, we have here one, again one, no? Um, one here is in the tens place. So its answer, we are also going to write it below the tens place, okay, below. So we have one times five is five, right here five, and one times one is one. Then add, bring down zero, five plus three is eight, and bring down one. So 15 times 12 is, 180 okay next next we have what is 10 less than the product of 10 and 24 okay what is 10 less than the product of 10 and 24 so first thing that we have to solve is the product of 10 and 4 so 10 and 4 is 40 right then less um, the question is what is 10 less 10 less means we are going to subtract 10 from the numbers. So um, that's 40 minus 10 equals 30. Okay. Next, what is 12 more than the product of 23 and 5? So 23 and 5, we are going to um, we are going to get the product first of 23 and 5, diba? So 23 times 5, that is 115. Okay, that is 115, no? Then, um, we go on, man. The question is, what is 12 more? Means we are going to add 12. So 115 plus 12, that's 100. 27. Okay, next. Multiply the difference of 58 and 36 by 3. Multiply down the difference. So we are talking about difference means we are going to um, subtract first 58 and 36. Okay, uh, because it is asking for the difference of 58 and 36 in one. So we are going to subtract. 58 minus 36, that is 22. Then, by 3, man, multiply, man, multiply the difference by 3. So, our difference is 22, then we are going to multiply by 3. 22 times 3, that is 66, okay? Okay, now, um, we are done in multiplication, so... Um, let us continue about estimation and mental multiplication. So, arita sa estimation or the estimating products. Estimating products, in estimating the product around the factors to their higher or the highest um, place value. So, we are going to um, round the factors to their highest place value. Sa, okay, we have here examples. No, 42 times 18 equals n. So, 42, when we are going to round off 42 um, to the highest place value, man. So, uh, the highest place value is 4. So, 42, we are going to round off. That will become 
40, di ba? Then times, okay, times 18, we are going to round off 1, will become 2, why? Di ba, um, let us recall our rounding numbers. Rounding up means we are going to add the number wa, the number wa, one if um, its number beside from right is greater than five or five above. And we are going to retain the number if its number from the right is less than four or four or less okay so since here that 42 um the number beside 42 i mean four is two so that's why um it is just 40 because you are going to retain the number four and here um 18 so the number beside one is eight so eight is more than five that's why we are going to add one so one will become two so that's 20 equals n then we are going to multiply 40 times 20 equals 800 okay where did we get 800 um for mental mental na to nga pang solve we have four times two Four times two is eight, right? So we have eight here. And let's count how many zero from 40 and 20. We have one, two. So that's why one, two. So that's 800. Okay. Next, we have 865 and 31. So again, in, um, in estimating the product, round the factors to their highest place values. So kailangan nato sang round off, no? So what is the highest place value of 865? Shimpre, it's 8, right? So what number um, beside 8 from right near? Iba 6. So 6 is more than 5. So we are going to plus 1. That's why it, become, it became 900. Then times. Okay, 31. So what is the number beside 3? Diba, it's 1. Then 1 is less than 4, diba? So, we are just going to retain the number 3 and then make the 1 to 0 equals n. Then, let's multiply. 900 times 30 equals 27,000. Okay, where did, they, where did we solve this easily? Um, diba, we have 9 times 3. Okay, 9 times 3 is 27, right? So let's just write here 27. Then let's count how many zero. We have 1. Um, we have 1, 2, 3. So you have to copy here three zeros. 1, 2, 3. So you have 27,000. Okay, next example. We have 5,423 and 6,554. So we are going to estimate the product around the factors here. Um, we have 5. The highest place value is 5. Then next to 5 is 4. So since 4 is less than 5, we are going to retain the number. Then make the number to its right 0. So we have 5,000 times 654. So the number beside 6 is 5. And five or more is we are going to add one. That's why um, six plus one is 700 equals N. So 5,000 times 700 equals. Okay, again, we have a technique. We are going to multiply the numbers first. Five times seven is 35. That's why we have here 35. And then count how many zero. We have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's why we have five zeros here. Okay, next, next activity, estimate the product by rounding each factor to its highest place value. So we have number one, um, 671. Okay, the highest place value is six. So the number besides six is seven. Then when the number gani is five or more, so we are going to add one. So six plus one is seven. That's why um, 671 become or became 700. 
Then 64, um, 6 besides 6 is 4. 4 or less, just retain the number. So we have 60. And let's multiply 700 times 60. Again, um, we are going to multiply first the number. We have 7 times 6 is 42. Then count how many zeros. We have 1, 2, 3. So that's why we have 3 zeros. Okay, not a 3 ka 0. Next. We have 9,835 times 336. So our highest place value is 9. Since the number next to 9 is 8, so we are going to add here 1. So 9 plus 1 is 10. That's why it's become 10,000. Because this remaining three numbers from right is um, 0. Well, became 0. Then 336. Um, 336. Um, the highest place value is 3, then beside it is also 3. So we are just going to retain the number 3 and make these two numbers from right 0. Okay, so we have now 10,000 times 300. So again, we are going to multiply first the number 3 times 1. That's why we have 3. Then count how many zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's why we have here th um, 6 zeros. Okay. Then multiplying numbers by 10, 100, or 1,000, it's, it's, it is just easy, no? Um, examples. 23 times 100 equals... Oh, 23 times 1 equals 23. Okay, these are the numbers, man, diba? Then count the number of zeros. 23, then 2 zeros is 2,300, diba? So 23 times 100 is 2,300. Okay, next example. We have 6 times 3 times 100. So since we have here inside the parenthesis 6 times 3, 6 times 3 is 18 times 100. So um, what is 18 times 1? That's 18, right? Then how many zero? Okay, we have two zeros. So copy. 18 times 100 is 1,800. Okay, next number 3. 300 times 5 times 100. Okay, we are going to multiply first the numbers inside the parenthesis. 300 times 5. 5 times 3 is 15, right? Then we have two zeros. So copy two zero. Then times 100. Then 1 times 15 is 15. Then copy how many zeros? 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have to copy here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Okay, the end of our slide. So, grade four, thank you so much. I, I hope you have learned for today's lesson, for today's video. Thank you so much, grade four. Please um, don't forget to study, ha? Huh? Then, um, pwede na po in hang i-subscribe lang akong YouTube channel, no? Para adoran ako ipang update, ipang upload ako mga video. So, thank you so much. Okay.